Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Again, finding what's right for you, massively important. If you wanna learn more about what could help you take your game forward, make sure you check out the obsessedgolfclub.com. I'm spending a lot of time in there helping players and the members continue to move their game forward depending on what they need. So first we're gonna figure out how you move and then what concepts you have do we need to refine those at all and then what drills are the best for you and then that continuous feedback loop to help you keep getting better and moving forward with your game that's what i love to do today i'm lucky i'm at tbc toronto up here for a couple weeks doing a couple camps a uh, beautiful place beautiful facility i wanted to go through what i just helped a player with who is tending to lose control of their trail arm so this is an interesting one right so most and not everyone but for this player the idea was to square the face this shoulder so that would be internal rotation was going to help me square the face okay so that's one way to square the face but you can see when I do it this way so if I'm driving through the shoulder joint to try to square the face that club if I do this with the shoulder, typically that club's gonna go that way. There's a chance I'll do something with my wrist to make an adjustment potentially, but if I just use that internal shoulder move, then you can see that club's gonna be on top. So this player would hit the odd right shot and then a hard left shot. So the tendency was they'd leave a couple to the right and then their brain would try for a right-handed player to square it by using the shoulder to square it, okay? So we refined this a bit more, we understood First, that I don't necessarily need to do this with my shoulder to square the club. I can, I can use my wrist and my forearm to square the club. You can see how that keeps the club in the same line versus that tips it out. Okay, so I can keep the club in the same line. And then what drill would help them get into this position? So what we did was, um, so I'd go thumbs through this band. It's a light band. I go over my right elbow under my left arm. Okay, so there's my setup position here for this drill. So what's this helping with? Well, when I'm coming down, if I go to use my internal, my shoulder internal rotation to get the club square, you can see I'm gonna push into that band, okay? So it sort of looks like it would push into the band like this. Or if I stay off that band, well now I've kept this elbow and shoulder structure pretty similar to what it is at the top. So I get into that position, now from here, I don't have to do too much. I can just unwind and then rotate into the ball versus hitting one to out to the right and then using this, and then I hit one to the left, and now we sort of got both ways going, trying to figure out what's the best way to do it. So this is a great drill, making sure that I keep, when I go up, trying to imagine I'm staying off that trail band. So you look here, you can see how my arm is just off that band. I haven't put added elbow flex, I've kept my width, but I just kept my arm off that band so I get a sense the opposite of this sort of winging out trail, shoulder trail arm. Not to say that the shoulder's not gonna come around, but when I'm in this spot, I wanna feel like it's in front of me, and then from there I can start to unwind. This is just do a little chip one. So from here, I can unwind, and I made sure that I extended, because with the band, the band's sort of pulling everything into my, into my body. So on that one, I just made sure I sort of push through the band, that's gonna help me extend and help me stand up. I would definitely do this one mainly with a tee without the ball on the ground, that would be good. Or just referencing it when you're doing practice swings. So that band setup is gonna give you a really good sense of what that trail arm is gonna be pre-impact to produce a nice strike on that golf ball. So if I set up again into that good setup position, trying to imagine I get there and then as I'm coming down, that arm's in the right spot, and then I just unwind from that spot. So nice strike on it, good compression. Felt like I had a good control of the face. We got a little wind off the left there. That's what produced that ball flight. But it was a nice strike, and that's going to help you refine the difference between squaring the face by going hard internal with my shoulder, my trail shoulder rolling this way, or using a bit of my form and wrist to help me square the face. I hope that one helps you. A pretty common problem, so it might uh, take a bit of refining, but use that one, especially if you feel like you're using that hard shoulder move to help you square that club face. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.